Jürgen, obviously there continues to be a lot of reports around the, the future of Philippe Coutinho. I have to ask you, last transfer window, obviously the club made it clear that he wasn't for sale. Has that position at all changed? And what do you expect to happen in this window should another bid come in for him from Barcelona? Look, all the things I could say now, and um, but only great stories, you write the stories anyway. So I have nothing to say about it. That's actually how it is. As, um, that's how it is. So that, it's a transfer window. Well, but that, that, that's all. That's, that's all. And I know that means already I opened the door halfway because I mentioned that it's a transfer window. But there's nothing to say about so what would help me or the player or the club. Okay, this was now the wrong direction, but um, that's actually the only thing I'm, I'm interested. So and so and that's all. I could phrase it differently then and say, do you have to consider at this stage the possibility of having to replace him in this transfer window? Whatever you can consider, obviously, is not my cup of tea. So um, sorry to say that it sounds a little bit harsh, but I'm not interested in that as well. <laughs> um, so. Nothing, really nothing to say about. Maybe 80% of the cameras are only here because of these answers. That's a waste of time then. Um, but, um, yeah, that's it. Can we check then on his fitness at least? Is he available for this cup game against Edson? Same with Salah as well. And is Virgil van Dijk ready to start? Um, Mo and, and um, Phil are not available. So it's um, not possible. Um, with Virgil, it's different. We have to see he's obviously healthy. Um, no, now I have to make a decision for for this game, I'm, but it's not finally done. So um, we'll see what we what we do with him. It's clear that um, centre half is a position he usually needs to be tuned to the rest of the team. The kind of defending stuff like that. Um, but of course, um, I can imagine that everybody is kind of desperate to see him on the pitch. But as for, for I said it before, from our point of view, there's no rush in the in the situation, and it's much more important um, how many good games he can play for us than how many <laughs> and when it starts. So, um, but yeah, not not decided. So because it's uh, in, in how it always is in this period. So we have to wait a little bit for last updates on on each position, and then we make the lineup. But um, the lineup will be a lineup which shows all the respect we have for the FA Cup. Um, I know that a few people uh, said that I don't respect cup competition or stuff like that enough. Um, but that's actually not the truth, so maybe we have to make it a little bit more obvious. Jürgen, you've said in the past that you don't feel pressure to win trophies, but having been here for a few seasons, do you feel now your squad is more ready and more capable of winning? No, I have pressure to win trophies, of course, but that's you are right, I don't feel it really because it's a fact. So it's nothing you feel, it's not something you know. And um, that's uh, that's the only the only thing I said about that. And, and um, we were capable uh, of winning trophies in my first season when I was here. Yeah, in the in the second season we would have been as well. Didn't too well in the cup competition. Carabao Cup we were in the semi final again. FA Cup I don't know exactly when we when we left this competition. But um, no, it's um, yeah we, we don't waste opportunities. We want we want to be as successful as possible in all what we are doing. And um, so this is a very big opportunity and um, that means uh, of course we are we are really um, spot on. We really want to go. We know about the importance. That's all clear. But then there's no opponent as well, probably with similar targets. And we have to respect that first. So to talk about winning something before you play the first round sounds already a little bit disrespectful, so um, we know that it will be a tough game, but for Everton as well, that's the most important news maybe, and um, we will try everything um, to, to go in the next round. That's all what we are thinking about. Is it even more important given the position in the league at the moment, the cup no. competitions? It's always important. I don't think that anybody would say if you are the first in the, in the table that you just say then, yeah, come on, who wants to be there? FA Cup winner, so it's a big competition, very, very big competition, and um, so that's that's clear. No, I, that doesn't mean anything, to be honest. It's um, just another 
uh, opportunity for us and a very, very good one. But how I said, first of all, we have to play our first round, and that's now against Everton. Um, and I think so far we showed in all the games we played that we are really, we really want to win. I was never. I, I don't think that the boys ever left any doubt. And um, so that's um, that's good. But that's what we have to show again. Yeah, and we all know in football in terms how important finishing in the top four is, and financial terms as well these days. How important to you, though, is it to win that first piece of silverware? And, and these days, obviously, the cup competitions offer better opportunities. Well, very important, but it's um, it's not in my it's not in my hands to 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 judge all these things. So it's it's we have we have only to be as successful as possible, and um, that that's what we really try every day. We try to improve. We try to develop our game. We try. To be more unpredictable, we try to be more go threat defending better. That's what you always do. And um, in this league, obviously, and in this cup competition, out of FA Cup, there are only top teams around, and um, so you need to be ready all three days. And that's what we showed um, pretty much so far in this season, especially. And um, we have to do it again. But it's you can't. It's not that. You can dream every day. The dream of winning silverware is more uh, a given thing. So you, you know you want to have it. And we all know how desperate our our supporters are to, to get something. I can believe me that we are, have exactly the similar mood. We are exactly as greedy on things like that as as we all are. Uh, they all are. And that, that that's all to say about But we have to prove it on the pitch. It's not that we... I cannot win the FA Cup in a press conference, so we have to be really good in the games, and um, that's that's first of all. And if we go through, there will wait another top team, and uh, and then another one, and so that's how it is. So we need to be ready always, and uh, to be, but uh, to be honest, we have it doesn't help if you make it too big in front of a game, because we all I said that, that we have pressure is a fact. But it's not allowed to feel it all the time. You have to use it much more. So, and we have to use the quality of the of, the, of our players. We have to use the quality of the squad, and um, to be successful at the end. And that's what we really. That's how it's how I said. I think we are on a good way, but we have to to prove it every day. Would you expect a different tactical approach in this game from Everton than you saw a few weeks back, given that it is it's a knockout competition? They they changed already. I don't know now. Sam is not long enough at, at Everton that I can could touch it really well. But uh, when we made analyze it, uh, it, it in all, apart from our game and all the other games, they had their a more offensive action than they had against us. So was it only because of our strength? Was it because they were not that that long together? Um, that's um, I don't know exactly so far. It's really not long enough to judge it finally. Yeah, but. Um, Yes, they will. They will going to to looking for that chance, and yeah? they will they will go for scoring a goal. That's the only way. Or they say, yeah, let's play again, uh, whatever. But um, I think it's it's not important what what Everton is doing. It's because we we always have to influence it in the game with what we are doing. Even if they have an offensive approach, if we play like we want to play, then there will be we will have um, possession more than Everton. Probably that's how it is. If Everton would have more possession than us tomorrow, I think that would be a surprise. So maybe this is the only part where we could be a little bit prepared for all the red stuff. But that means then there's a counter-attacking threat. Bolasie is back. Um, that's a, a big um, um, boost for them. And um, so they, have, they can make a few changes and have still a good squad. Um, they were in a really good, um, had a really good run in the league um, before I think lost the last two games. But um, that's all not too important. It's a it's a cup competition and it's a, it's it's isolated from from the season. It's much more opportunity than pressure, uh, especially for the team who people say they are not the favourites or whatever. But I think in the cup in the cup tie there is there are no real favourites. You, know, you need to be ready for it. And um, that we play at Anfield must be a, a big a boost for us as well. And I hope we, we can use that then. But um, style of play of Everton, I, I don't know exactly, but it depends to what we do 100%.
Jürgen, uh, given that you have nine days before you play City in the league, and I know it's been a very busy period now, but does that mean that the strongest side will start against Everton, your strongest side? Yeah. Has nothing to do with the city game, to be honest. But uh, okay, if we would play two days later, then my, my mayor should consider it. But um, nothing to do with the city game. Yeah, but we, we always do that, by the way, or try to do it. And afterwards, we, we got judged and, and we say, okay, it was the wrong lineup or the right lineup. That, that, that's that's our life. Um, no problem with that. Um, yeah, will be the strongest lineup for sure. Just a, just wondering, really, it's a time when players pick up injuries. You've had so many games on the trot. Is there also a slight frustration, Jurgen, that um, you know you're probably not able to integrate certain players that you might want to integrate into the side or be forced to integrate into the side uh, as quickly as you you would have wanted to do, or too quickly you would have wanted a bit more time to work, for instance, one or two players that might be drafted in because of the injury problems. You're speaking in particular about who? Well, I was thinking about Dominic Solanke, for instance, who, who came in against Burnley. Tough game, difficult conditions, uh, and I don't know, maybe called upon again, but maybe you haven't had the time with all the games coming rat a tat to work in terms of working him in with the rest of the players. No, no, each game for Dom is very important. He had to, was really busy in that game, I'm not 100% sure. Well, I got a lot of numbers after the game, but I think he had. 12 and a half kilometers or so, so that's pretty rare for a striker, that's quite lively. Helped us a lot in that game. He will score, no doubt about that in the future. No doubt, not a shadow of a doubt about that. Um, and at this moment he, he, he gets experience. So that's how it is. So no, I, I, for a player like Dom, um, for him it's, it's, it's perfect. Uh, if he can play as much as possible, but yeah, that, that's really important. Um, for other players, so, so far, yeah, OK, Hendo and Alberto, of course, it's not too cool, but they're on a, on a, on a, well, really on the way back. So after Everton, they can be part of parts of team training then that um, helps us. So we will see what that means for, for the City game then. But really on a good way that we're too long term. Adam is now back for a few weeks and that he could play at Burnley and how he played at Burnley, this was perfect for him and brilliant for us. Um, and... Um, yeah, Mo and, 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 and Phil are not big injuries, to be honest, but it's only a week. <laughs> That's the problem. Eh? So um, it's, We were quite lucky with the, when I heard about uh, the diagnosis and, 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 and when they are back, um, then you, you think, okay, oh, thank God, that was lucky. Because usually in this period of time when you, when you get an injury and you're out for four weeks, for five weeks, it's like 20 games so that's and so now it's talk about two games nobody wants especially I think with the cup game uh, nobody wants that but we cannot change that of course but it's so far it was it was okay and uh, always when you bring in other players like um, Alberto Moreno played a fantastic season so far and then um, um, and then uh, that mean for um, and for Robo a quite hard time, but he could learn a lot in this time, and now he uses what he learned. So that's that's good as well. So there's always each each situation always hides a chance for for somebody else. And um, as long as we can react, and as long as we can bring 11 players, and uh, we always will have a solution. If it's then the best one, it's the best one for the moment for sure. If it's the best one in general, I'm not sure, but um, it's all okay so far. So if it, we have to we have to keep on going, we have to use all the boys we used all. Pretty much all of them so far, and um, that helped all of them. Just wondering, do you have a, a time scale on Phil's injury in terms of when he's due to be back? Because obviously, he missed the whole of August, the back injury, and transfer windows open. He's now injured at the start of January when transfer windows open. People say it looks a bit suspicious that he's injured during these two periods. Are you saying that? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I'm saying, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's coincidental, maybe, that he's a bit injured at the start. Suspicious or coincidental? Coincidental. Coincidental, then. Let's say coincidental. I apologise if you use the words. <laughs> you want to answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I'm halfway. Sorry, so what's the problem? <laughs> When, when I think Phil is back, yeah. he's in a, he's, I think he's in a bunch of, um, of available players as well for the, for the City game. That's the 14th of January, right? Yeah, I think so. Can I ask you about um, the policy on the goalkeepers for the FA Cup? Danny Ward played in the Carabao Cup. He's 
how they have any action. What's your thinking? Is it still to rotate Simon and Loris? Or would yeah. 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 Loris will start. And um, uh, I'm pretty sure to ask John Atterberg again, but I think Wadi is sub. Yeah. Means Simon has a, a little break. Yeah. That's it. The plan, uh, the, the plan for what is um, a plan I speak to him about, I thought, before I speak to the press about it. Um, so, um, all good so far. Danny is a young, very skilled goalkeeper with a lot of potential, but means space for improvement. And, um, yeah, that's it. And we, we are quite desperate to work on that together with him. To be honest, uh, we would like to do that, but we have we have to see. Not nothing, nothing done with all with all the the requests so far from other clubs for for loans or stuff like that. How is that? We have to. It's always like you, if, if, if the, in, the, in the transfer window in January, everybody's doing like the, the season is already finished. So now we can get all the players, and uh, because you you didn't need them in the first part of the season often enough or stuff like that. But it's a it's a long season, a lot of games to come, still uh, in a short period of time. So there's enough to do for all of the boys. So um, no rush in that, so, um, and we cannot help other clubs before we think about ourselves. So that's all.